If you're watching this, you might be like me and you might be a serial project starter. I was recently talking about this with someone else who's an independent. I said, I think that us who choose to work for ourselves, we tend to be naturally curious people, learners. We get very excited by things. The downside of that is that we start a lot of new projects or we have a lot of project ideas and we can't actually do them all or maybe see them through in the way we want. I just wrapped up a side project of mine called Good Trip, which is a travel magazine. We just got done publishing it digitally via Substack, publishing all the stories from the first issue. I decided that it is time that I need to just wrap it up. And it's not a project that I can prioritize in my life right now based on my current goals and bandwidth. I started it in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. And I think a lot of our pandemic projects have morphed and changed over that time. I thought with wrapping it up, I would put together some lessons I've learned from having my side project in case it helps you if you have different ideas or you're struggling through one or you're not quite sure which form one should take. I wish I had known these things before, but you learn through doing. My biggest learning is to do an MVP, in this case, minimum viable project. I went into this with like really grand ambitions. I wanted to make a print magazine. I wanted it to be like a whole side company, not like my main company, but like a side company. I went into it like guns blazing. Now, looking back with all my projects, what I recommend doing is doing an MVP version. What is like the smallest thing that you can ship, that you can try? Try to do it quickly. Try to have a quick deadline. You will learn really quickly what you like doing, if you want to continue it or not. For example, with podcasts, I recommend doing a mini series or a, a set season. In this case, with the travel magazine, maybe I would have tried to do like a zine, like a really little, small zine something a lot more accessible. I also at the time started this newsletter as part of the whole marketing of it that was on Substack. And it was just this like ongoing newsletter until we said, actually, we need to focus on the print magazine. There was just like a lot going on. I had really grand ambitions. Like I jumped into it being this whole big thing. When I think when you're doing a side project, you should ask yourself, what is the MVP? Let me do that. Let me accomplish that. Let me see if I want to continue it. Let me see if I like it. Let me see if I want to change it. Similarly, don't get too formal with a project before you need to. I think it's the same thing when you start working for yourself. Like I still don't have an LLC. I think it's easiest to just get into it as like a sole proprietor. Don't worry about all the formalities. For me, I, again, guns blazing, I went into it. I made an advisory board of friends and past colleagues who I really trusted. I didn't really need that at that time. Um, I think I was really eager to have like other people involved. And to, as I said, kind of make this a business without actually doing like a proper business plan, though. I also jumped into having a formal visual ID, which was amazing. The visual identity, I loved it. But I definitely didn't need to like have that set in place. But I think I was looking like way too far ahead instead of thinking, how can I just put out some, some content or like I said, that MVP. I was really worried about structuring it in the right way before I even had anything two structures. I learned that with any project, your motivations will change depending on your life season. As I said, I started this in 2020. It was around the time when I was thinking of moving away from my full-time job at that time. I was feeling some frustration there. Then I went through a layoff and I was like, okay, I'm going to like do this. This is great. I'm going to do this alongside the launching my freelancing business. Freelancing business got going, but took some time. And so during all that time, I feel like I had this space, I had time, I had the motivation to make my own brand, make my own content when I had been in a role where I was a little more, uh, you know, anytime you're in-house, you're a little more, you're not as flexible with what you can do yourself. You don't have as much autonomy. And so I was really eager to like have my own brand and, and do what I want. But then, you know, you start working with more clients and you realize you can, you, you have a lot of autonomy and power with your clients, depending on who you're working with. And with your own freelancing business, and you get a lot busier with your business, you you get other interests. And so over time, those motivations were not quite as strong anymore. And over time, it really just became like, I want to finish this because I said I was going to do it <laughs> instead of like a real internal motivation of feeling like those same motivations of I want to create this thing. I want to have control. I want to explore these stories. That became a lot less motivating. And it was more just like, I just want to get this out there. And that was not as strong of motivation. And so again, going back to that MVP, I think that's why I like it is that it leaves you time to be like, okay, my motivation shifted in life. I'm going to move on from this or adapt this because yeah, 2020 is very different than early 2024, a whole whopping four years I've been working on this. So 
start slowly and realize your motivations are going to change. It's rare that we want to stick with something for like a very long time. Let's talk collaboration. I really wanted to collaborate with other people on this, and I did. I will say it is difficult to collaborate when no one is paid and there's no money involved. And it's because everyone is busy with work. Everyone, you know, I had my changing motivations. Everyone else had their changing motivations. I think it's really, really hard to collaborate on a, like, free, just for fun project. Maybe if it was, like, something that was more in person or there was, like, one person leading it. I'm not really sure. I see a lot of people who are able to collaborate on side projects, and I really admire them because I think... It's much easier to move something forward if it's just you. But at the same time, you can't pick a project that is dependent on other people's skills, like a print magazine, and I am not a designer, without having other people involved. I think it's structure the project so that you can do it totally yourself, that you can ship the MVP or you can pay someone for it. But if you're trying to get other people involved and it's all like a passion project, I think it's going to be really tough to hit deadlines. People are busy and you can't make anyone do it if you are not paying them. We would go through seasons where like I would be really busy and the next person would be really busy and it was really hard to like sync up those schedules and hit deadlines. It's difficult because I really want to collaborate with other people and I feel like that's where the fun and creativity comes from. But I think it's really tricky and I'm curious how other people do it with a side project. I learned that it is okay to stop. Actually, there's someone who I'm in a pollen membership with, Robin Yang, who does a creative composting workshop. And I haven't been able to attend it yet, but I think it's it's alongside this idea of what do you do with these projects that are still in ideation or they're halfway or you've done it, but you're ready to move on. And how do you like give yourself permission to move on and do it in the way that you want? So for me, that took a few forms. Like while we were doing the weekly Substack newsletter, it was going really well, but we were like, oh, we really want to do this print magazine. We're not going to be able to do the print magazine if we're trying to push out a weekly newsletter. So then we focused on the print magazine, but it, we got all the editorial ready, but then it was a lot harder to get the the design done. It was hard to find the right person and the right way to do that. So that kind of dragged. And then we were like, you know what, let's just publish this digitally so we can get these stories out here while they're still relevant so we can get these published and not get too hung up on this. And now all the stories are published. I am at a phase in my career where I have too many other things going on that are priority. I don't see this fitting in anytime soon. So I think it's time to sunset it for now. I would love if someone could take it over, if I could pass it to someone and they can take it and do what they want with it. They can keep any of it the same. They can transform it into what they like. I would love to do something like that. So if that's of interest, let me know. But if not, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to say, okay, that was interesting. I learned a lot. (laughs) We did publish a lot of stories that I thought were really cool and that I don't think I have seen in other places. Did the goals and motivations and everything change? Yes. This is also important is to not beat myself up about it, that it didn't take the form that I originally wanted it to. It's like, who cares? I feel like I've really been hard on myself about it. Like, oh my God, why can't I get this? project out there in the way I want. And, you know, it's just a mixture of timing and motivation. I just wasn't, it wasn't right. And the form it took was the form it took. So I shouldn't be too hard on myself. And it doesn't mean that all my other projects are going to be like that. I feel like I learned a lot. I never took on the side project of this scale before. If you ever need someone to tell you (laughs) to start or stop a project, I can be here and tell you. I love giving people advice on projects because I, as I said, I take on way too many of them. Hopefully this helped a little bit and go forth and side project as you will.